Oh, give me a second. I'm not feeling so good. Bom dia. Ela está aí? O que, que a senhora acha? Claro que sim. E o senhor bem pontual, Tudo bem. Não? Ah. You fucking pair of clowns! I'm sorry, sir. We risked our lives several times over trying to save... I... I... I know. I just wish I knew what was happening and why. Yes. Who has it in for our family? I mean, just because we are rich and happy? Is that a good reason to hate us? I do a lot of good in this town. A lot! This is hell for me. As I told you yesterday, when I get Fabiana back, I think I will move us to Miami or Geneva. It feels like nothing good can come from living in Sao Paulo right now. I hope you're not giving up on our city, Senor Branco. Listen, we will catch the man. You have my word on that. Listen to Mr. Becker, brother. Yes, these are tough times, but we have been through it before. Like when father died. Father had a heart attack visiting a brothel. Yeah, it was humiliating and embarrassing for sure. But now this is different. This is the end for me. Well, she's not dead. Maybe we'll be lucky and get her back safe soon. I can almost guarantee it. If you do as I ask. Maybe. Be strong, brother. For your wife. I know this has been tough on you. But things will get better. For all of us. Hmm? Marcelo, pasos in my helicopter. This way. Sure. Mr. Becker? Senhor? Let us give you a ride. Bom. Até logo, senhor Branco. And may I say, you would be best served se contratar profissionais e não esses amadores pés de chinelo. Goodbye, Mr. Baker. Até logo, Sr. Branco. I had so many plans, Max. Didn't we all? I was born into great fortune. Sometimes it feels like I have done nothing apart from being a rich man in a poor country. The men I talk to, they only see money. Now my wife. I am not naive. She does not love me for my body. Well, despite your good fortune, you're still a decent man. <laughs> am I? I don't know. I try to be. But maybe I'm just another rich fool, just like the rest of my friends. Con licença. Tem uma ligação para o senhor, um policial chamado Senhor da Silva? Ah, diga que eu ligo mais tarde. Sim. Another bent cop wanting a pension contribution. Do you think a pile of shit feels popular because it's surrounded by flies? <laughs> Look at me. I'm a mess. O que está acontecendo? Meu Deus! Sim, pode entrar! Senhor, temos um problema. O sistema de segurança foi desativado. I can see that. We got men entering the building, and the office won't lock down. Posso? Claro que pode. It's not working. Uh, there's a way to reboot the system. If I can get to the server room, I should be able to get everything back online. Strange. You pay a couple million dollars, and you expect to, to push a button to, to be able to, to make all your problems go away. That was some useless junk and a bit of false confidence. I'm done, Max. Sir, let us handle this. You stay in your office, lock yourself in. Do not answer the door unless you know it's me. Let's go. I should be able to override the system if I could just get to the server room. What's going on? Nothing to worry about. Everything's fine. Get down behind the desk now, both of you. <gasps>
Max! Max! Yeah, it's safe. Come on. We need to get you to the server room. Let's go. Por que não posso ficar aqui com você debaixo da mesa? Let's go. Come on. Okay. I'm coming. Come on. The real security guards had been run off, paid off, or bumped off. That left us. It wasn't a fantastically comforting thought. I'd last half a second in a gunfight! Stick by me! them killing me. Hey, somewhere else! This code should get us into the boardroom. Okay. Glad to see the security system is keeping the right people out. Ah! Oh, oh shit! shit! What the years? Are we dead? No such luck. We gotta go. It's through here. This is the way. That's not funny. The server room is just past those cubicles. These clowns were the same guns for hire who jumped our exchange at the stadium. Crotcha Prado, the black badge. Right-wing paramilitary chumps protecting whoever paid the most. I guess that made them more like me than I cared to admit. Were they just looking for another payday or did their business with the Broncos run deeper? If I'm here, I'm going to go there. It's time! Silence! Good to go. Let's get that server back online. Can we just spend a few more minutes? Make sure they're all gone? Come on. Don't worry. I got your back. Poor kid was scared shitless. But I thought we'd seen the worst of it. Okay. The, the server room is just down here. You're doing good. Come on. Hey? I just... I didn't think I'd have a day like this when I wake up in the mornings. <laughs> Wish I could say the same thing. Hmm? Fact was, I'd gotten used to protecting Bronco in the big bad world. We hadn't anticipated a siege situation here. Hadn't prepared for it. I couldn't tell the kid that. Something told me these guys didn't have security clearance. Yes, 
Come on, move. You gonna be able to fix this or what? In a few minutes, eh? I should be able to reboot the system, get all the components back online. What about Bronco's office? That's all I care about. You should be able to lock us down, eh? If this works. All right, well, whatever you're doing, do it quick. I'm gonna make a sweep of the building and then get back to Rodrigo's. The security system was back online. Things might be a little tougher for our fan club from here on in. It seemed like breaching the perimeter had been no more difficult than strolling through the front gates. But hey, who needs a Trojan horse when the alarm is down and your standing army is a dame, a dork, and a drunk? Bronco's office overlooked the atrium. I could check in and make sure he hadn't checked out. Your guy's working on the security system now, sir. It just came on. Okay, good. Then lock yourself down. Stay put. Let us take care of these guys down here. Once they realize they can't get to you, they should back off. Max, try not to completely destroy the place. Let's just concentrate on staying alive. Sir! There it went. He was tucked up safe. Now I needed to make it to the lobby to complete my sweep of the building, for what that was worth. Hmm, graduation shots of Rodrigo, Victor, and Marcelo, educated at rich kid finishing schools all over Europe. No wonder they had the common touch. Poor girl was dead, shot through the head by some hero fighting the rich one lonely secretary at a time. Levanta! Ele não é de nada, porra! 
It looked like we'd seen the worst of it. The elevator would take me back up to Rodrigo's office where we could wait the rest of it out. I didn't know what the hell I was going to find up there, but I sensed it wasn't going to be a stripper bursting out of a cake. Senor Branco! Senor Branco! I can't get through to him. Ever since the security door is triggered, he hasn't made a sound. Rodrigo, it's Max. Open up. Can you hear me? Eu já tentei. Senor Branco, open up! I'm going to try to get in there from the roof. You find the security guard and get the hell out of here. Yes. I knew there was another way in upstairs for the helipad, the little luxury runaround that kept the rich looking down on the poor literally as well as metaphorically. Rodrigo! 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 he was dead. Clean, one shot, a professional job. I began to look for clues. I couldn't get playback on one of the cameras and it looked like the disc was missing. Someone in this building was trying to keep things low key. But then why had everyone else come driving through the goddamn wall? Fabiana. Even if the man who employed me was dead, his wife was still out there. Maybe she could be saved. Maybe some good would... Ah. Picking the photo from the broken fragments, 
Something caught my eye. Figures. <laughs> Only blind luck it meant the blast wasn't fatal. If I'd been out for any longer, the smoke would have gotten me. I wasn't immolated, I was gonna get crushed to death. Look at me. I've been contracted to protect two people. One was be- immolated I was gonna get crushed to death look at me I've been contracted to protect two people one was being held in some hole the other was sitting at his desk with a bullet in his head and the company that had its logo on my paycheck was melting on top of my head There's no way one bomb could have done all this, unless the place was made of gasoline. This whole joint must have been rigged. The kid hadn't made it. Fuck. I had to make this corpse-looting coward pay. Getting his gun was more than just expediency. No one would be rebooting his system. Poor bastard. Don't die here. Move. Rodrigo or not, Fabricas Bronco is falling apart quite literally. He had bullets in his gun. He should have shot himself and ended the pain. Bunch of guys who tried to kill me might have had an idea. Someone had ordered barbecued gringo, but I didn't have to serve it to them.
So much for a lazy Sunday afternoon. My next trick would be a high wire act with a fiery pit for a safety net. It was nice that no one was shooting at me for a change, but I'd take shot in the head over a slow roast on a spit any day of the goddamn week. Someone up ahead was hurt pretty bad. If he didn't die before I got to him, I might get some answers. Hey! Why? Why Rodrigo Bronco? Why? What? Why did you come to kill Rodrigo Bronco? We came to kill you! Because of what you did to us! You killed so many of us! What reason did this poor bastard have to lie? He would be dead from shock or loss of blood in half an hour, even if I didn't leave him there to burn. Where's Fabiana? Fabiana Bronco, where is she? The Commando Sombra got her. Up the hill. Then it was up the hill for me, I guess, where the gang held sway. I had to try to figure out who was using these angry paramilitary clowns as some kind of front to kill Rodrigo. Rodrigo Bronco was dead. Fabiana was held hostage. I had no idea who was behind any of this. I felt like a fool. I was a sweaty, gray-haired mess. This place, well, this place was gonna kill me too. I could see that now. I decided that I was gonna die sober, not drunk. Ah! Then I would see who shot me. It was time to take back control from whoever was out to get me. And if I didn't flush them out, at least my midlife crisis would confuse them enough so they did something stupid. It was the only hope I had. I knew I wasn't thinking straight. I'd been drinking and popping painkillers for years. I had a liver like a French goose and skin like red leather. Well, it wasn't perfect. In fact, it wasn't much good at all, but it was gonna have to do. I was facing in the right direction. Hello. Hello, Victor. Max? Max, you're, you're, you're alive? Of course I'm alive. We did not know this. We are lost, Max. Our brother was everything to us. I understand. Listen, I'm, I'm sorry about your loss. Both of you. Rodrigo was a good man. I failed him. I, but I was tricked. What happened, Max? I don't know. Some guys from the crush of Prado came into the building downstairs, so while me and the security guard were dealing with them, an assassin must have come in and executed your brother. I, at least that's how I think it happened. Man, you killed him, Poha. You killed my brother. What are you talking about? I, I understand you're upset, but please, why the hell would I do that? To get his money, to take his money. How am I getting his money, Marcelo? 
Please, think. I worked my ass off for your family. I saved your life twice, or more. And right now, I'm going to get Fabiana. Where is she? Where is Fabiana, eh? She's in a place called Nova Esperanza. How do you know this, Max? One of the crotchet Prater told me just before he died. Please, bring our sister-in-law back to us, Max. Our family is being torn apart. So I guess I was finally about to go and experience the other side of Sao Paulo firsthand. The bit people try to ignore. The unpleasant memory they try to obliterate with cocktails and helicopters and parties and lines of blow, like rich fools the world over. I was a day off the sauce for the first time in years and knew I was due a hangover sent direct from Mother Nature. <laughs> I had no idea where the hell I was gonna go, so I decided to head straight for the street party that seemed to be raging. Either that or some other fool had gotten there before me and now was being ritually sacrificed. I've had better ideas. But then I've also had worse ones, like accepting this job in the first place. E aí, gringo? Get lost, kid. Eu me amarro nos States. Você precisa de ajuda, senhor? Speak English? Uh huh. Falo sim, sem problema. I need to know if you ever seen this girl, Fabiana. Come here for a second. Look at her. I know lots of girls. Sexy. Come on, come on. This way. Where are you going? Wait a minute. Down there? É isso. Jesus. This way, come on. At least I had found myself a tour guide. Hurry, mister! Party! The way I see it, there's two types of people. Those who spend their lives trying to build a future, and those who spend their lives trying to rebuild the past. For too long, I've been stuck in between. Hidden in the dark. What was I really doing walking in there with my bad haircut and ridiculous shirt? Was I there to make something right? Or was I just using a messed up situation to indulge myself, grasping at some desperate delusion of control? Maybe the two went hand in hand more than I care to admit. <laughs> I had stumbled into some kind of street party. This was the kind of reality Americans paid top dollar to see. Slums had become tourist attractions, places where yuppies could gawk at the endless spirit of the poor from the inside of their bulletproof buses. I felt dumb and exposed. I missed the booze. Not that it mattered, sober or drunk, I was hardly undercover. I stood out in this place like a streetwalker in a monastery. <laughs> What do you need, guys? What do you need? What do you need? What do Easy, pal. Easy. Ah, então. Você é americano de merda. Ah, look, I didn't mean any offense. Me dá só uma razão para eu não te matar, seu americano burro. Ah, desculpa, amigo. Por favor. Passa tudo que você tem, viado. Pega o dinheiro dele. Pega o dinheiro dele. 
Ah, relojão, hein? Passa aqui. Dá logo. Dá logo. Da puta. Valeu, mano. Bem-vindo à favela Nova Esperança. Agora tá fora da. All things considered, I was gonna have to look on this as a good outcome. I was deep in gang territory. These kids were raised hating clowns like me. Middle-income ass-kickers who protected the rich by shooting kids like them. First day off the sauce and somehow I'd still ended up in the gutter. If there was one thing I'd learned since I'd been here, it was that Brazilians came out of the womb kicking a ball. And for kids like these, was there one legal chance at a ticket out of here? Desculpa, uh, olá. Fala inglês. Uh, I'm a little lost, perdido. Onde uh, és tu? Tá no lugar errado, rapá. Ah, não compreendo. Uh, I need a phone, a telephone. Bora. Publico. A gente não é centro de informação turística, não, Gringo. Well, they weren't gonna help me. And who could blame them? I was a dumb American in a place where dumb Americans were less popular than the clap. If I was gonna find my way out of this mess, I was on my own. It looked like there was a bar up ahead. The irony was not lost on me. I figured sobriety was no use to me dead. I hoped this classy looking establishment would have a phone so I could call Passos. Either that or a gun so I could shoot myself and save these kids the bother. Hey, that telephone? Telephone, vai lá no fundo, segue em frente. When you're stuck in a foreign country and you don't know the words for reverse charges, and you're in some lonely skin joint in the middle of some poor slum, having just had every last cent robbed from you, and you call yourself a bodyguard, then you know you're a loser. Hey, Matt, can I buy you a beer? Do I know you? I don't think so. Look, if you're gonna shoot me, to make it quick, I'm a little busy. If I was going to shoot you, I wouldn't waste a beer. Wait, you won't try to dry out a bit, so just a soda, please. Sure. Why don't you go sit down? What a map for him. It's shock for me. Thank you, lad. Interesting haircut, by the way. I meant to tell you that. <clears throat> yeah, well. Wilson da Silva. Very good to meet you. Nice to meet you, I think. Although you'll forgive me if I promise never to employ you as my bodyguard. You did a great job watching after Rodrigo Branco. Fuck you. You were set up. Bet your ass I was. Now, let me ask you something. Have you ever seen this guy? Serrano. 
Yep, he's a real sweetheart. Yeah, he sure put his gang out of business. But don't worry, those guys, they're a small fry. This is the guy I'm interested in. Neves. And this is his little buddy here. Milo Hegel. They work for this vigilante group, Krasha Preto. Yeah, I know him. Well, they're very popular with right-wing politicians, like Victor Branco. Now, you see, many years ago, he helped clear some villages on a bit of land Rodrigo Branco wanted to develop. Rodrigo Branco? Yes, he did some very bad things. Anyway, have you ever seen this guy? Maybe at the stadium. I knew you were involved in that business. You know, I wanted to investigate that, but I got an order to blame it on some local street kids instead. Tell me, what happened there? Nothing. We simply went to hand over some cash to this guy's clowns for a, a ransom exchange when this guy's clowns jumped us and they shot everybody. Apart from you and your boy Passos. That's right. But we had to shoot our way out of there. <laughs> they let you go. <laughs> It's okay, it's a little weird right now. But I know that Victor Branco is involved in all this. I just don't know how or why. And I know that the Ufe are involved in all this as well, but I just don't know how or why. And you know what's gonna happen? The moment is gonna come along when I put all these pieces together, and at that moment, someone is gonna come along and put a bullet in my head. Anyway, listen. I think you might want this. Thank you. I'll need it. And if it's Fabiana Branco you've come looking for, I think she's up the hill. So why don't you just go get her? I don't know. Well, I'm a cop. I mean, I'll fight corruption. I'll stand up to the rich and dumb, but if I go up that hill right now, I'll be dead in three minutes or less. Maybe you too, Max. You're in the jungle now. So it appears. If you survive the next hour, let's speak. You help me. And I'm gonna do what I can to help you. Good luck! I didn't know what to make of what this guy had just told me. What was true and what was just someone else's convenient bullshit. Then some less than friendly locals came in and found me in the wrong mood to party. Hey, Green! What are you doing? No comprende. Leave me alone. Você tem alguma coisa para mim? Do you got something for me? For you? I'll tell you what I got. I got a gun, and if anybody thinks they're gonna take it from me, they'd be dead wrong. still in danger.
vou te matar! Amigo! No, no! Relax, soldier. You're American? Oh, jeez, buddy. Am I glad to see you? Oh, fuck me. I've been coming to this shithole town for the last five years. It's like a fucking insane asylum. But it's got the cheapest pussy in the world. Fuck me! I mean... You're in a cat house in the slum, pal, doing who knows what. I'm a businessman, bro. And, and they were fully legal in, in this country. I, I, th I think... And, and I know how to tip, all right? It ain't my fault, man. It ain't my fault. Don't, don't judge me, all right? Have a nice day. Jesus. What a fucking creep. It was Monday afternoon, and I'd already been thrown out of a party, gone to a strip club, and got into a bar fight. This latest midlife crisis was certainly ticking all the boxes. É o gringo. Ah, não sei. Tô vendo porra nenhuma. A gente desce ou não? Foda-se. Isso aí. Isso aí já era, não vale a pena não. É certo. Vamos lá. The fireworks display was clearly in my honor making sure everyone knew to roll out the red carpet for their surprise guest. I was walking into another not-so-welcome party. These hoods didn't look like Commando Sombra. Not that I was gonna get picky. This was clearly their turf, and I'd just shot up their favorite skin joint.
I was getting nowhere fast. The cold turkey was messing with me, like I was looking through another man's eyes. I needed to focus. I could hear a woman screaming. I thought I'd found Fabiana, but instead I'd stumbled across some testosterone fest. A bunch of young punks with guns killing time the only way they knew how. Nova Esperanza wasn't exactly a dinner and movie kind of place. I recognized the hoods who jumped me earlier. I was trying to decide whether to crash this party or turn back, when my natural grace and finesse made the decision for me. Alguém mais sabe usar porra?
Aqui, seu boss! Fabiano's market value is falling by the second. I had to get to Serrano before he dumped his stock. These bastards looked different, tougher, more capable. They didn't look like Serrano's boys, but I could tell I was moving up the food chain. I hoped Fabiana wasn't going to be served up come feeding time. There was no need to announce my arrival in that part of town. I'd drawn more than enough attention already.
Giovanna, charity worker and socialite. Work with the poor and play with the rich. You try to live in two worlds. Eventually, you're gonna get your life ripped apart. Charming as this neighborhood was, I'd done enough sightseeing.
That much security, it had to be Serrano's pad. Since I was in the neighborhood, I figured he wouldn't mind if I dropped in and thanked him personally for his hospitality. It wasn't like he wasn't expecting me. I had to hope the king was in his castle. As I approached the spot, I could hear raised voices. Then I saw that Marcello had turned up with a suitcase full of money along with Fabiano's sister, Giovanna. I only understood a little, but things were not going well. I wasn't expecting quite so many armed goons, but there was no backing out now. I would just have to act harder than I felt. Put the guns down! Let the girls go. No one needs to die, asshole. Don't you kill her! Don't you? Okay. 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 Here I was again, with all hell breaking loose around me, standing over another dead girl I had been trying to protect. We'd only been married a short time. By now, she had been dead longer than I knew her. I still hadn't really forgiven myself for the Mona business, but I knew that was just grief. The insanity that comes with losing the life you had built. Michelle, I missed her with every part of my being. 
I hated the world for not killing me with her, and I hated myself for allowing this to happen to her and our little girl. But I knew I had to leave town. Excuse me. Max Payne? Somehow, I didn't think he was about to tell me I'd won the lottery. All of a sudden, I didn't need that time by myself. Passos was down the hill and I had to catch up to him. If anything happened to Passos, it would be my responsibility. I knew I shouldn't have gone there, and that Passos might have to pay the price for my sentimentality. Sorry, I just had to say goodbye. Ah. You okay? I will be once we get out of here. I get the feeling those weren't the only guys DeMarco sent after. You got that feeling too. I started to wonder if my luck was about to run out when I realized it had a long time ago. That's why I was here. There he is! The money's mine! That's if there's anything left to identify the body switch. You good? Yeah, I'm okay.
energy for an encore? Let's move! This way, through the gate. Hey, come on. Hey, wake up. Let's go. The troops had arrived. Either DeMarco had thrown an army at this job, or he'd put a high enough bounty on our heads to attract every contract buying scumbag on the eastern seaboard. Yeah, yeah, but how are we gonna know who after? Huh? I got hollow points. Yeah, look, we all got hollow points. Look, we'll split the bounty nice and even. All right? All right? Fair. That's all. I look like a fucking socialist. An aid worker? We'll work it out together. Okay? Look. Cuz, I'm not giving no handouts. I'm not giving no handouts. Not asking for a handout. We're out here nah, working. Whatever, whatever. Shut up, whatever. Mm -hmm. Stop whatever you say. There he is! Right? Joe, just Joe, look, just Joe, look. Joe, Joe, Joe. Oh. Oh. distance between himself and the goons. I meant to follow. I got someone. I think it's the hit. That Max Payne. The other guy might be here as well. Where are you at? They didn't have much of a reason to keep Passos alive, whoever they thought he was. Hey, look, man, just be cool, okay? Be cool. Don't tell me to be cool! You Max Payne? Huh? Hey, fucking funny! Whatever. You're Max Payne. I thought he was fucking Max Payne. Confusing, huh? Hey, you make one more move, and this guy, whoever the fuck he is, is gonna get fucking dead. Look, man. Give yourself up, and the marker might have a change of conscience, huh? Might grant you one last reprieve, me. Ain't no reprieve, man. Gonna be found otherwise. I don't even know who he is. This guy's luck is running out! Breathe, man! Cover me! Over here! Hey, man! You alright? You got my back, man!
Holy shit! What the hell is going on here? Don't worry about it. Just get out of here, okay? It sounds like a fucking war is going on. Calm down. Some poor bastard, quite literally, on the graveyard shift. Must have been wondering why there were suddenly more bodies above ground than below. Sniper! Shit! All I can hope for is that he didn't even hear the shot that killed him. Get down! Shot came from the top of the mausoleum! Up in the tower! This is the only way through! If I lay down cover, can you move up on him? That's anyone's guess. Right up to the moment my head gets blown off. Wait on me. Don't give that. Up in the tower. This is the only way through. If I lay down cover, can you move up on him? That's anyone's guess. <laughs> you okay? Sure. Right up to the moment my head gets blown off. You gotta move again. I'll give you cover! Wait on me! Take him out! Whack this cocksucker! Get this! Right up to the moment my head gets blown off. You gotta move again. I'll give you cover. Wait on me. Get behind that thing.
up the stairs, man. Left, left, left. Go up the stairs. Don't go up the stairs. That's the stairs, man. Left. Quick. We'd come in here to hide, not very successfully as things turned out. Freeze! As opposed to what, disco dance? Shut the fuck up, half cast Turn around! Turn around! Move! Move! Hold it! That way, you fucking jokers. Move! Where are we going? Hey! Take it easy. You killed my son. You killed my fucking son. My boy. My only son. Listen, I'm sorry. Fuck you! Sorry for your loss. But your son was killed in gun battle. A battle he started. Shut your fucking mouth! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! You! Fuck you. You killed my son! You fucking spick! You killed my son! Dig! No! I have to admit, I almost felt bad for the guy. Dig! Sure, he had lived a bad life, but I, of all people, knew that living with this grief would be payment enough for any sins. Still, perhaps not so bad that I was prepared to dig my own grave and let these goombas kill me without even getting some dirt on their hands. Your body ain't gonna bury itself, dig, motherfucker! I didn't want to tell the guy there were 45 other bodies in the cemetery that weren't receiving their Christian rites. I figured the Grave Digger Act would buy us some time. I'm getting tired just watching you! Boom! Oh, stop! Where are you going? I die! You alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Alright, follow me.
The morgue. How appropriate. I know you're depressed, but I thought the murder-suicide thing was a long way off. This looks about as good as any to make a stand. At least the coroner won't have to go far to go to work. Uh, like I said, Paso's always had a good sense of humor. We gotta find a phone. I got a connection in Queens who can help us. Huh. All right. Spread out! And clear every room before you move on. We don't want to miss these damn fools. Our SOS was gonna have to wait. Find that phone. Make a call. Yeah, there's gotta be a landline in that office, man. Okay. I think we'll be all right. Yeah, at least for a little while. Call somebody, get a little help, and we'll get out of here. Hey, hey, it's me. Look, we really need to get out of New Jersey. Yeah, the things are heating up. We got like half the New Jersey mob after us. Uh, and a cemetery in Hoboken. Here I was again, halfway down the world, and still looking at.